Alrighty, hello. Uh, this is Mark Harris, and uh, this is my website that I would like to share with all of you, show you what I've come up with. If, um, right now, you should be looking at the, the home page, obviously. And you can see this, um, this handsome guy here uh, is me, several years ago and several pounds lighter. And uh, anyway, that's what they're going to see. And they may be a little shocked when they come into the classroom and see that, um, you know, someone photoshopped the picture of their teacher. In any case, this is the, oh, I do need to explain a little bit about what I teach. Um, I'm in uh, Cache Valley and I teach at Cache High, which is an alternative high school. And I actually go out uh, to two satellite locations to work with kids who are in facilities where they actually stay. They've been taken from their homes for uh, various reasons and live on site. And I go out and teach them. And um, I'm called upon to teach different subject matters uh, depending upon what they need. And uh, not all of the students I teach are special ed, but uh, a good deal of them are. And so they need the... Um, additional support of a special education teacher. Um, the three subjects that I have uh, taught thus far and will expect pretty much what I will be teaching again this fall are uh, English Algebra and Government. Now as far as the site goes, I've only put together a couple of modules for English and Algebra, the Government site. I just simply haven't had time to get to that yet. Uh, the other thing I wanted to explain before I start going through it is that um, it seems like a lot of what we've learned in this course is ideal for kids that are working on the internet or simply taking online classes, uh, sort of like we have done uh, with this class we are in. We've done so much online and we've had to be able to read and uh, access our assignments and turn them in. Uh, in my situation, to, to the greatest extent would be that they would be able to look things up. Uh, one of the groups will. One wouldn't even be able to access the Internet at all. Um, this is because of uh, the situation they find themselves in. The other group uh, could possibly access some assignments. And if they took the time, and that's doubtful, but if they took the time, they could also make use of some of the teaching things that I've uploaded here. Okay, enough of the preamble. Let's get to the site here. Um, of course, you can see the tabs across the front. Uh, this is where they would end up, first of all. They can uh, go straight to English Algebra or Government by clicking on these links right here. Um, across the top, I started off by... Uh, oh, well, let's go with the About Mr. Harris thing. This is where they could come here and uh, view the uh, slideshow. Uh, about me, which you guys have already seen or had the option of seeing as one of our other assignments. So I've included that in here, and they can simply click through it and see me and the kids and family and stuff. And uh, let's see. So the uh, courses, I set them up to begin with. So we started with algebra, and you can see the various um, sub-menus below. We've got the calendar then the modules, instruction and assignments. And um, like our teacher said, I, I don't think in many cases I probably didn't need to include the assignments because it ended up being sort of a page where I could just put things there if they ever needed to go back and get just the assignments. But it's probably easier and made more sense if they went through the modules to get them. Um, so you know, let me just quickly show you the calendar. Uh, they can click on here, go straight to the calendar, which is basically just a place where I put due dates, the assignments. Here I've just got the first couple days of school and some things we'd be doing that may or may not have much in terms of assignment uh, uh, parts of them. Now by the time we get to Monday the 24th, then here is one of the assignments I've included and the second one. And that's about as far as I was able to get on this, uh, on that subject. And back to the top here, the module section is probably the best section and where I would suggest that they start and do everything. 
because uh, they can click on this and everything gets explained. Uh, each module will go over a section of algebra, which will be covered in this course. Each day's assignments are broken down into subsections of modules. Um, and you can see how I've set this up. Um, so I'm kind of building the uh, lesson material off of a book and doing it by chapters. So each module would probably be um, a chapter of that um, that book, and then each individual uh, lesson is a sub module. So you can see um, graphing is what we're going to be starting with here. The first module is 1.1, which is reading bar graphs. And then 1.2 gets into the coordinate plane. From there, we'll get into tables and then down to ordered pairs and tables, graphing ordered pairs. And it gets uh, more involved as we uh, expand into that. Um, and of course, you can also see that I've only got two lessons uh, that are actually ready to go. Um, and then down below, module two, three, four, and so on. So I could build from there. And then, of course, a little comic thing over on the side here. Uh, let's look at the bar graph. Uh, really quickly. Now this is 1.1 and this is actually the meat of uh, what they would need to get. Oops, sorry about that. Where that came from. Um, the Algebra mod Module 1.1 Reading Bar Graphs. And so um, I started off, I put the objective in, in at this point and I explained what we want the um, students to learn, of course, to read it and a little bit as to why um, they need to learn that kind of material, what it will be good for. 1.1 uh, reading bar graph instruction. In this case, the instruction uh, is in, uh, hang on a second here. Sorry, I'm having a little trouble. Uh, the instruction here is a video. So they can either, you can see here it says uh, how to read a bar graph can be found by clicking here, which would go to a separate page where I have just the video and they can view it. Or they can view it right here in um, uh, on the same page. Just view it, it's embedded here. And then at the bottom I've got the uh, rubric which I didn't use the same format that I used with my other lessons because um, I wanted this to be, well first of all it's mathematics and so um, I kind of wrote out how I will be grading this so that they understand how the the points would be awarded to them. So um, I put, I just made it kind of just straightforward sentence form. There are 25 possible answers on the assignment uh, attached below. Each question is worth one point, with the exception of number 20, which has got four different questions to it, so it's going to be worth four points. And each um, each point, uh, they, they get a point for each correct response, and therefore the assignment will be worth 25 points. And then in red down here, uh, download the assignment below, print it off, and complete it turn it into the instructor by the due date. In this case, the assignment is due on August 24th. So they've got the date there. They could also look at the calendar. Uh, and then attached is the assignment. So they would have to download this. You can see it's a, a Word doc. And then they would be turning these in to me. Um, there's also an assistant in the class they could turn it into. And uh, the assistants um, also spend a great deal more time uh, at the facility than I do. I come in to teach. So they can collect things and even correct things if it came down to it uh, and enter that information. I did put uh, additional instruction here. They can click on this little image here if they want to go to an outside site uh, to view it. Oh, I guess I can show you that. And so they can go to this, uh, this site and then get some more information if they are that ambitious and want to go out there. But it is available to them. Okay, now as I started going through this, I did the same exact thing, and I won't make you go through all of them the same way. The English course is set up with the same way the government class will be, but I started realizing as I was forming uh, the, the whole website, as I was putting it together, I kept thinking, they're going to want to get back to these, and I realized that it, they, the only way to do it, they would have to come over to the course and always go to the module, and then find the right module that they wanted to, to learn about. So, um, and here's the English one. It's the same situation. Here's just some more information uh, about navigating this and, and as far as English goes. Um, but, and so they would have to go to the top, to the course, then go to the module, 
find the module they're uh, looking for, and then go to the, the lesson material, which is all set up. Now, this English one is similar. Well, it's set up similarly, um, where they have the objective at the top, reading comprehension. And there were two parts to this lesson. So the objective, it's broken down into two here as well. There's a grammar section and a reading comprehension section. And that will vary uh, as we get in through the year, what they'll be doing in English. But for this particular part, that's how I set it up. The instructions here, there's a lesson there, there another outside lesson over to the right. And the, the rubric, once again, I've explained for the two different sections and then when it's due. And then the attachments at the bottom. But um, I'm wandering here. What I realized is that if they want to go from course to course, I was hoping what I could do, like under English here, is have a sub sub menu so if they went under module one then it would take them i'm sorry under here under the english course if they went here they could go under english modules and then have them underneath but that didn't work um it wasn't something that i could discover how to make that work so that's why i have algebra course and algebra modules english course english modules government course and and then supplement, supplemental links um i didn't do the government modules because I simply haven't gotten those created yet. But um, I thought it would be easier if they could just start off here and go straight to the modules and then they could say, oh yeah, yeah, I need module three. And they don't have to go back through the course information. They could go straight to this. Um, looking at whatever cool things we might have done to our websites, I, I think that's the coolest part of this particular website is is only that um, that will allow them to go directly to the information instead of having to go through several other screens to get that they can just simply look module okay i want algebra modules so i'll go find the one i'm looking for or english and eventually the government one as well um i think that pretty much gives you a fairly good overview and it looks like i'm going up around 12 minutes which i didn't mean to do um i also have this supplemental links which has got more information and uh, let me just show you the other stuff. We'll make this quick, uh, but I'll just use algebra. They can go straight to the page where the instruction is, click on these, and go straight to the instruction if they wanted, and then also uh, straight to the assignment, uh, the assignments themselves where they're just here. If they wanted to find them. Like I said earlier, though, I think uh, going through the modules would be the best because the assignments are uh, attached there, and so are links to the instruction. Okay. Thanks for listening and putting up uh, with this as long as you have. I hope this, uh, as John Lennon once said, I hope I pass the audition. Thank you.